Hibachi. The question, Hibachi, is how to deal with someone who can just bench press you out of side control. So let's see your bench, Nelson. <laughs> you get thrown off like this. So it, let's say you just can't stop it. They are just that strong. You can whoop, use neon belly. That's one of the best uses for neon belly. If someone just decided they should, you should have a bunch of space. And if you can't use it, that's bad for you. But if you can use it, it's good. So then you got to follow up with something here. Usually neon belly is enough to make this push stop being that useful for them. They want to push and then maybe turn over, push and then wrestle up, push or throw you into guard. So if they're going to go and throw that space in there, you can put your knee, your shin across their belly, put a hand here on the bicep, put a hand here now. And if they want to keep trying to push here, just learn to do knee on belly. If you want to prevent some of that stuff, if you just know someone's way bigger and you're never going to really like crush, crush, pin them down, it's just being ready for that. So um, you can be doing things to move to angles that are just hard for someone to bench press. So he could try to bench press me up over his head, but there's just a lot of ability to drive in here. I can do things to get these arms into positions that aren't gonna be strong. So I could come here with this knee. I'm getting real tall just to show you. Come here and then drive it over and then slide it down towards the mid forearm or the wrist. And then no one's bench pressing you with that arm anymore. They, they might try to curl, they'll try to curl it together. 100%. And so what you can do is double up your ankles on them. Yeah. And so then you're here and it, where you'll get them, if you're up here on the shoulder, this is when people will like curl around you if you're small. Yeah, and then they'll try to ah! throw you around. So if you're gonna do this one, you initially will come with your knee through here and pin it and then you can, Double pin it if you want, or be like this, so I'm down at the mid forearm or the wrist. If I go too much to the wrist, he'll just kind of slip his elbow out. So mid forearm here, and then when you feel them trying to curl their arm, it should be a lot harder because you're not up above the elbow where they can bend it. That'd be one trick. And then this other arm, one of the ideas would just be when people start to push on you, they're going to be creating spaces. Yeah, go ahead and start pushing me. I'll give you your other arm back too. Uh, they start making these spaces here. It's figuring out, is there some way you can fill them up and redirect the push? So that if you just think of force to force, like he pushes me and I push back, I can get where I can't really stop because we're just meeting on jujitsu like. Jujitsu is the whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. it's not the head-to-head -head force. So I can do things so as to kind of change the shape I'm in. So when he pushes me, am I like able to slide under that push and hold here? And then he'll try to push me some other way. And you're just figuring out, can you put your body in positions where now you can't be simply bench pressed because this arm's wrapped around me. It's going to be, be a lot of things changing, but I'm just finding positions where He's less and less able to shove. He can probably shove me with this one now. And then you're doing things to try to push it across. They're bringing it back in again. And then you're moving to smush their arms over their face or smush their arms across their body. You got anything else you want to add? Well, I, I think sometimes the question is, uh, we think, especially white belts, they only think of side control as this shape. Yeah. Right? But then the more you train, you realize side control is this shape, is this shape, is this shape, is this shape, is this shape. You know, <laughs> it can be a ton of different things. I wouldn't even get to like all the north south. Yes. Stuff. So when you think about holding side control, don't make yourself narrow by just only don't pigeonhole yourself into just I have to be here because this, like, this gives like, me that yeah. flat chest that I want yeah. if I'm going to bench press yeah so don't think your side control sucks because you can't hold people here 
We're holding people here, that's fine. It's just a good place for us to start launching attacks. But if I can't hold somebody here, it's completely okay to start moving my hands around and start moving my hips and find other shapes in order to stay on top. So the, the most important thing is like, I'm gonna stay on top. Doesn't matter what that looks like. I'm just gonna have something controlling the hips. Mm -hmm. And then the better you get at your transitions, you're gonna start understanding is, I don't need to be whole myself on one side either. If yeah. I really start, start, start losing and he's like really into me and his knees are coming in, it's okay for me to do something like this and switch sides. And now I have it flat again. So, yeah, it's a great point about just people get there, they're trying to turn their squeeze into the only thing they have, and then a bench press, if it's stronger than your squeeze, will beat you there. Yeah, so. and then you're, and then because you're trying to keep that chest, that, that both knees down, one knee by the hip, one knee by the armpit, I have the underhook, and I have the cross face, like your standard side control. If you only try to maintain that, people are gonna get out of it, people are gonna bench press you off, people are gonna, like regular hip scape out of it. But the more you understand how to transition into these other positions, and they don't have to be static, like, you know, they're gonna be like slight variations, and like depends how long your hips are, uh, your legs are, how, how comfortable you are in these spots. Like learning how to put pressure from, like, you know, your chest to like turning slightly sideways, and now I'm putting pressure with my ribs. Mm -hmm. And finding your balance in all these spots will make your side control stronger, and then like, you know, will open more attacks. Yes. There you go. Give it a shot.